In asylum. Baird, we found one of the silos, but it's wrecked. Well, there's two more. One of them's still operational. Hope you're right. We ended the war once on this island. When we get this hammer satellite up, we can do it again. That's the idea, old pal. Control out. <laughs> Go right, Marcus and I will go left. We'll find those silos. Sounds good. Stay in contact. You sure about this? Two silos, two paths. You got a better idea? <laughs> Del, hatch! Jump down. like some kind of an exhaust tunnel. But is it from asylum? Only one way to find out.
Alright, looks like this sluice gate's our way out. Dave, can you get this open? Man, you know what? If they want to turn this place into a hive, let them. It's an isolated island hundreds of miles from shore. Uh-huh. Let's just make sure that happens after we leave. See? Dave gets it. Okay, let's hurry. Going down! So much for a silo.
few more up here. You two push ahead. Copy that. Watch it, swarm! Oh shit, carrier! Drone, I can use those reinforcements right about now! Condor's almost within range, Delta. Okay, kid, reinforcements incoming. I've got guardians for DR1s. What do you want? Send down guardians! down. Thanks for the help. DBs, one of you secure the area. The other's with us. Let's go. Acknowledged. Dave, check that pen. a door. He's doing a lot more than that. Well, either way, the door Thanks, Dave. So, that data Dave just downloaded? There's a big hole at the highest security clearance. How does this relate to our mission? It doesn't, but now I need to know. I'm guessing whatever's missing was pulled from the network. Well, who'd have the authority to do that? Back then, uh, only the facility commander. Find his office and poke around. Okay, we'll go. Scanning immediate area. Detecting all inferior pod technology. <laughs> oh, come on now. That's just me. Lieutenants, it is a pleasure to 
Officer alongside you. Concerns, please call or write to the Ministry of Settlements. facility commander's office even look like? I don't know. I think a big door, nameplate, maybe commander written on it. That's, that's a fair response. Del, commander's office is through here. This door is locked. Maybe 
it is a door, but this, this got to get Dave inside. Look around for an air duct or something. It's got to be big enough for Dave. Go through that vent. Let's find a release for the door. So, Baird once lost data, huh? What does it even look like? Well, I mean, if it got pulled from the network, it probably got stored on some kind of external drive. <laughs> nice one, Dave. Commander's office. Let's look around. Dave, close. Safe. No place for secret data. Dave, get this open. Gotcha. Hey, Control. Good news. We found the data drive. Appreciate it, Delta. Hey, know what we'd appreciate? Some backup. What? Where are you? The silo. We found it. And they're all over us. Oh, shit. We're on our way. work. Control room. 
Road's clear. Nice of you guys to show up. Oh, no problem. Is that rocket attack? It is, believe it or not. Good. Then find a port for Dave to plug into. If it checks out, he'll initiate the launch. You know Jin pretty well. Just how angry is she gonna be with us launching this thing? Uh, I'd say somewhere between an ulcer and an annual. Honestly, we're just lucky the swarm didn't rip this thing apart. Dave, fetch! Mm -hmm. Here. Let's initiate the launch. Dave connected to the controls. Dave, fetch. It's all yours. Control, you're in. Start the launch sequence. Pressurized. First stage. Opening silo doors. Error. Error. Uh, Delta, Error. we have an issue. The silo hatch. It's not opening. Oh, of course. I knew that seemed too easy. Baird, options. Bug out. Blast doors aren't going to protect you from an exploding rocket. All right, then we call it. Let's go. Hydraulic external power to on. No. We get that hatch open. What? Kid, listen to your old man. You gotta get out of there. Damn it, we came here to do this, so let's get it done. Ignition test commence. Good luck with that. Let's get that hatch open. So what's our plan? I don't know. There's gotta be a manual override near the top. Let's find our way up. Check fire!
Damn it! It's jammed! We can get around! Let's go! Drop one! Up there! Sam, we're ready for extraction. How about I see Jin first? I'll calm the storm before you brief her. I'm sorry, is this Sergeant Phoenix being diplomatic? You can call it what you want, but we're at war, even if it doesn't feel like it yet. We all have to be on the same page. Yeah, well, I mean, if you think it'll help, then sure. Wish you'd have been this willing to listen back at that silo. Hey, it worked out, didn't it? Listen, James, word of advice. Stop trying to prove yourself. Just do the job. Dad, I took a necessary risk. Necessary means you have no other option. That wasn't necessary, and you know it. What was that about? What do you think? Same thing it's always about. Hey. You know it's just because he cares, right? Yeah, well, you know a hell of a lot more about him caring than I would. Okay, um, yeah, um, we're just gonna go inside. Come on, Dave. That was a shitty thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. The thing is, you two are more alike than either of you want to admit.
The data is in front of you, Damon. What? what? Th th that's it? I thought the new satellite would automatically link to the old ones. It cannot find them. Without regular scheduling from telecommand, tracking accuracy <gasps> degrades. Thanks a lot, Iris. Your vocal sentiment does not match your word's literal meaning. Thus, you are not actually thanking Please stop me. talking. So, I still can't find the other Hammer of Dawn satellites. On the plus side, I accidentally invented an AI that understands sarcasm. Here, that data drive you wanted. Maybe it'll help. Find lost satellites? I doubt it. But I'll take a look. Wait, hang on. Did we do all that for nothing? Oh, it'll fire. But with only one working satellite up, it'll be tough to control the beam. Ah, uh, what's wrong with Dave? Dave had a few problems. What kind of problems? Hmm, uh, that kind. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. <sighs> Everyone, meet the new Jack. When the hell did you have time to build this? When did I have time to build this? This is what I do. I sit here making stuff you guys don't appreciate and inevitably break. Okay, so what's different about him? All new range of behaviors. Improved scanning, augmented combat and support modules. He's literally one of a kind. Uh-huh. And... And he's... all yours. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bazillion 40-year-old satellites to find. Damon, there are only 15 missing satellites. Thank you, Iris. More sarcasm to add to your growing library. Before we begin, Damon, the combat module you brilliantly designed is now ready. My use of brilliantly was intended to be sarcastic. Did I succeed? <sighs> Follow me. You'll want to equip this new module ASAP. It'll make Jack combat ready. Oh, I'm gonna take this. It'll give Jack what I've been calling Flash. It blinds, stuns the enemy. Installed and equipped. So, how do we use it? I'll show you. Over here. Okay. Grab a weapon and get into cover. Then we'll start the test. Got it. Iris, activate Alpha 331. Certainly, Dale. So, say you've got a target that seems awfully comfortable behind cover. Jack's flash ability fixes that. Aim at the DB and activate. See what happens. Test sequence complete. Huh. That'd be useful. Now, let's try it again with multiple targets. Iris, activate Alpha 332. Incoming, Damon. Jack's got to reroute power between flashes. Once he's recharged, hit him again. Yes, halt! Commencing reload. Jack, blast! Reloading weapon. Target's engaged. Investigating hostile target. Nice work. Feel free to rest again if you want. Test sequence complete. No offense, JD, but, uh, Jack's my new best friend. I'm very happy for you, for both of you. But now I need you to return your weapons to the weapons locker and get out of here. <sighs> Make sure 
trying to get rid of us? Oh, you noticed. Anyway, you can boost Jack's abilities if you find the right components. Before you go see Jin, stop by the armory. They might have one you can borrow. Oh, we will definitely be doing that. Good. Now I can get back to work. What Damon means to say is that he has more important things to do. Thank you, Iris. Bluntness is one of Iris's more commendable traits. I wonder where she gets that from. So, Baird, I know you were kind of mad when Jin shoved you in here. How do you like it? Oh, I, I'm enjoying it. The workshop's quiet, peaceful. Damon is not being truthful. Shortly before you arrived, he was highly critical of the First Minister, referring to her several times as Let's a... not get into specifics, Iris. Also, why did you tell him that? I detected genuine personal... Uh, Baird, sorry, but we should get going. No worries. Do your... thing. Come on! <gasps> Hey, Foz, how's life in Jin's rear echelon treating you? Brilliant. But then we can't all be off on some secret mission. Oh, yeah? How'd you hear about that? This is an army, not a monastery. Yeah, okay. Well, look, we'll just leave you to the very important work, punching machines. And sparring. Hang on a second, shit stick. Shit stick? Del, theories? I don't know. Maybe a stick made out of shit? Or, or a stick used to stir up shit. All right, fuck off. How about we make this interesting? You and me, spar right now. And how exactly is beating you interesting? Yes or no. <laughs> you want in on this? Pretty sure what's actually being measured here is gonna leave me at a distinct disadvantage. Then again, maybe not. Hilarious. Are you in or not? Oh, I'm in. Come on, man. Let's just grab a jack component and get out of here. No, this will be fun. <laughs> oh, son of a... How's that fun working out for you? <laughs> Try it again, Foss. Come on. <laughs> hey, here's the thing, Foss. The bottle spar with you, <laughs> but not beat you. It's against their programming, but... Explain! Shit. It's false confidence. Quite a bit, actually. Want some advice, Phoenix? No, I'm good. Jin does love her golden boys. But never for very long. See, that was fun. Fuck off. All right, man. Now that Fa's fun time's over, can we go find that component? That cheap shot? Mm. Chef's kiss, buddy. Chef's kiss. Component we're borrowing. Or stealing. I prefer borrowing. Indefinitely. Say, I'm loving the new Jack. Can't wait to test him out in the field. 
Try to contain your excitement. We still have to go to Jen's office. Yeah, Dad's probably had enough alone time with her by now. Enough's enough. You gotta see someone about these headaches. I will. I promise. After we talk to Jim. Let me be perfectly clear. When it comes to this weapon, I don't share your optimism. The first time anyone's accused me of optimism. Yes, well, I'll remind you your wife refused the idea of bringing the hammer back online. I would have thought you'd respect Anya's wishes. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that, for both our sakes. Anya would have wanted you You to don't get to talk about her! If that's what you think, I won't argue. You and that... Goddamn fertility program. A program that gave you your son. And mine. I honor Anya. I loved Anya. Oh. I don't care if you believe me. When my program was in its infancy, she came to me. She volunteered. Both times she volunteered. Seeing First Minister Stroud undergo treatment. Do you know how many children are alive today thanks to her? She should be buried here, you know, with the All-Fathers. The people need her inspiration. Your inspiration was my wife. First Minister, Lieutenant Phoenix and his squad. Send them in. Ah, Lieutenant. I'm told you had a successful mission. First Minister, I can explain. By all means, explain when Damon Baird superseded me. Explain how launching a Hammer of Dawn satellite doesn't require my explicit approval. Same page, huh? Lieutenant, the Hammer of Dawn has taken more COG lives than most of the armies we've opposed. Your father knows this as well as anyone. It's not the weapons I don't trust, First Minister. It's the people who use them. The Hammer of Dawn will not be brought back online. Ah, that'll be a report on the evacuation of Settlement 2. Settlement 2 is being evacuated? Why? There's been activity in the nearby burial site. Chief Carmine, report. Please, slow down. Mobilize the 4th Division. We'll take command of the reinforcement effort. Do it. Go. James, we're getting close. Where do you want me and Kate? Main gate. Keep anything else from getting inside. You realize I'm the ranking officer here, right? And we'll reinforce Carmine at the town hub. I can't believe we're back here. We did our duty. You need to get over it. Get over it? Guys, not the time. Cole, let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, shit!
We got zombies up here! Shit, we got it down here too! We gotta keep those skinny shits off of us! Delta, let's get out of here. farther than they hoped. Then we better move it, Delta. All right, through here. away from it. Oh, Delta, I thought it was gonna do donuts around it. Be advised, Corporal, they're faster than they look. Delta out. Huh. Evac convoy. Yeah, Lizzie's from the speed of it. They're the best driver we got. Rob moves. Yeah, she knows it. Come on, let's cut through this building. Everybody, stay back. They're coming in! Hey! Stand down, Private! We're geared! Oh, shit, sorry, Lieutenant. No harm, no foul. What are you doing here? I lost our DBs and we got civilians holed up in here. Lizzie, Delta requesting civilian pickup. Sector 8, apartment complex. Copy that, Delta. I'll circle back. Thanks for that, Lieutenant. No problem, Private. Come on, Delta. Glad you showed up when you did, sir. Sorry again for the errant fire, Lieutenant. You guys here to pick us up? We're not, but the convoy's on the way.
God, my kids aren't careful out there, sir. We'll go. Let's go, Delta. Control, need backup. As Nature thinks about this. Fuck it. Never mind, Control. I took care of it. DBs, we gotta secure this straight. Lizzie! Oh, Christopher! You are crazy! What can we do to help? Just clear this street, Delta. Otherwise, we're stuck here. All right, you heard her. Let's get to work. Enemy sighted. Baird, we're assisting a stalled convoy. We might need reinforcements here. Roger that, Delta. Diverting a condor your way now. Phoenix, for the last goddamn time, I'm the ranking officer, which means I call in the reinforcements. Yes, sir. I, I will fix it. So this is a swarm, huh? Not impressed. No one wrecks my trucks! Only I get to wreck my trucks! Round up those civvies you found. Delta, 
Delta, Carmine squad just got overrun. They're hunkered down with civilians inside the tower. They're not gonna last if you don't get there soon. Come on, through here. They need you at the hub. Go! And get there through the park. Stay by the steps. All right, you heard her. Let's move. Hey, Jack, pulse. Down. You're gonna be okay. You know, you might not have a problem with shooting innocent people, but I do. Innocent, huh? Innocent. So people frame fire bombs are innocent. Hm. Good to know. Both of you, knock it off. Wait. I heard about this. That was you three? Not three. One of us managed to keep his DBs under control. What the hell happened? We identified an insurgent element and eliminated it. No, you opened fire on a protest. Every herd needs a good cull I know who I'll call from this herd. Happened, happened. Right now, we focus on completing this evacuation. Goddamn right. There's the hub. Dead ahead. Shit, Carmine is definitely in trouble. Damn it, Swarm's taking down our condors, too. Yeah, I bet that goddamn swarm act brought it down. Every condor we lose means fewer reinforcements. Lieutenant, you are the <laughs> Got a way through here. Shit, snatch it. That thing makes its way to the hub. Carmine's problem is gonna get a lot worse. Come on. Hey, Juvies! Take him out! You got one thing to say! These other things have to go!
units. Engage. Engage. Sounds like Carmine's DB still got some fight. Let's go. All right, looks like Carmine's holed up in that tower with the civilians. Let's show these DBs how it's done. Clear the plaza. I got him. Bots on the blink. Someone take a look. Shit! They're everywhere! Do not let up! They're taking the turret! You want some? Cause I don't think you do! Get back up now! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Nice job, Delta. That's it. Carmine, boss is clear. Thanks, Delta, but you got more damn bogeys incoming. Hey, our supply drop is still out there, so put Barrett's new lancers to good use. Wilco, you keep those civilians safe. We'll handle. Uh oh, what do we got? Oh, lancer grenade launchers. Where the hell does Barrett find the time? Here, get them while they're hot. Get them while they hot! make this work. Here they come! All right, Delta. Let's line them up. Oh, my God. You see that? Oh shit! We got a fire!
we were following. the evac. Guess I owe you twice, Phoenix. Now walk. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, fire's in the way. Find a way around. Cardio kit. Hang on. That has stim tech. Go! Go! Oh, that's strong stuff. Forgot about that. Whoa. Okay. Same time. Securing area.
think we got them all. Did that block thing to shut down our box? There's no way we can hold this settlement. JD, Joe, Marcus and I have to bug out of the wall. Swarm is everywhere. Can't raise control. Ugh, something's messing with our comms. Eureka, we got separated from Cole, Foss, and Carmine. Then we gotta regroup. Meet us at the theater. Welcome. See you there. JD, come on. Let's cut through the hotel. Hey, there, through the loading dock. Come on, in here. Yo, Jack, give us some light. Oh, shit. We're losing a lot of gears. Bad, Lizzie. Good luck. Hey, hold up. doesn't just shut BBs down, it turns them. What the hell, man?
flash. We're going in there, Dell. Get ready. Get to Caden, Dad. Then we can worry about the others. Oh, shit. We're going that way. Del, 
We're leaving. Now control drop them now! How did you get the memo about the block? Thanks, control! Shit! Well, let's just have them clear the street! Sergeant, we'll have you pushing back! Appreciate it, sir! DBs, come on! Clear the street! I'll burn it, Lieutenant. Regroup with Marcus and Kate. Actor guy. What's his name? Uh, 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 Jay Strat. He was in the play that's running here, right? If you worry, don't be. Jace can handle himself. No one back here. Let's check the stage.
Okay. Let's try this one. Uh, guys, we got a problem. A corrupted DR1? That can't be good. Look behind it. The evacuees. They're all dead. Let's just stay quiet and try to get out of here. Oh, oh god damn it! Kill that thing! We can exit stage right. Evacuees didn't make it. Cole, Foz, the Carmines? What's their status? Lizzie made it back to her convoy, but she keeps getting rerouted. Clay found a Raven out, but I can't reach Cole or Foz. You heard from them? No, not yet. But we'll keep looking. It's Delta. You're breaking up. We're at the theater. Say again? We gotta get out of there, kid. They're letting the settlement go. Wait, can't we use the Hammer of Dawn? Not when I can't target the damn thing. Just fall back to the main gate. Baird, we're stuck on the other side of town. Phoenix, Lizzie here. You're at the theater? Lizzie, thank God. Affirmative. I've been diverted like six times. I can pick you up. Coming your way now. We'll be here. Delta out. In here, come on. Whoa, 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 what's this? We, uh, brought company.
So, Dell, see any friendly faces you recognize? Maybe that's the uh, peaceful protester who broke my nose. You deserve worse than a broken nose. Why don't you show me what I deserve? Stop! Yeah, enough of this shit! You're a goddamn coward! A coward? Wow. Well, have I got news for you? Bars. Don't. Guess who ordered the first shot, Dell? Directly into those peaceful protesters of yours. That's right. Lieutenant Pedigree there. Guys. Come on, guys. I, I, I mean, they were throwing incendiary... But the whole thing was confusing, all right? I, I didn't mean to... have it happen. We can discuss this later. Come on.
short string here. Kate! Should we bring him along? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right, come on. So what's your issue with Jack anyway? Besides spending half my life hiding from Cogbots? No issue. See, I told you it's not you. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Fine. He's not gonna listen to you. How about you let him decide that? Hey, it's her. Your funeral. <laughs> Can't come here with cog weapons. Hand them over. You know who my father was, right? Who my mother was? And yet, you're the one in cog armor. Go figure. Man, we're not giving you shit. Just... do what they say. Fine. You can pick these up on the way out. I'm through! He's out back by the steam farm. Try not to cause any trouble. That's up to him. You know, we've convinced a lot of outsiders to come over to the cock and fight, but I got a feeling this nut's gonna be a little tougher to crack. Yeah, I have the same feeling. Fresh fish, yeah. And I'm really happy to be here. Hey, wow, it's the cog! Welcome! Now get the hell out. Come on, boy. I can't stand up. Look at him. Hey, God, want a whiff of this? Stinks almost as bad as you. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Die, fascist, die! I got it! I got the fascist! Feel good wearing that armor? Your mother would be ashamed of you. That's not gonna work. Mobile core shot. So can you get it running? Actuator's okay, so maybe. What about the muscle wax? That's not a problem. How long have you told me? I still can't believe that Marcus, Baird, and Cole were the ones who killed this riftworm. From the inside. With their chainsaws. Actually, Stop I can't carrying believe his water! Why do you think Norsko and Lena went north? Because they're cowards! Thanks okay, that's it. Mr. I'm done. Mrs. Rat oh, you ain't gonna. Not in this bone heap. Hmm, at this point, I'm settled for Mr. Wrong. Why are we here? They've lost so many. And they still won't leave. 
They must hate the cog even more than I did. Chiefs through these doors, down by the steam farm. Okay, go on in. about that steam bag. Thanks. Could have fixed that myself, you know. Probably. Hey, on the record, this doesn't mean we're friends. Keep back it! Over here! Ha ha! Let's just get to the steam farm. Okay. So they got this whole place running on geothermal? Yeah, looks that way. Makes sense, but that's a lot of drilling. Guessing the giant worm did most of the work there. Go. Looking for the chief. Old guy, smells like beer. You seen him? Kate. Uncle. A lot of cogs been out here to make their pitch. 
Never imagine they send you. Guess they thought you'd hear me out. And what do you think? I think you need a new decorator. Yeah, he's supposed to keep him away. How's that working out for you? Nah, not too well. It's good to see you again, Kate. You too, Uncle. Now go pack up. You're leaving. Am I? Look, man, we've convinced every other village to enlist. You're the last holdouts. Cog, outsider, look, it doesn't matter. It's time to fight these things together. No. It's time we end this conversation. I'm sorry, young ones. You can find your way out. Uncle! My mother's dead because she thought we could make it alone. So go ahead, send us away. But if you do, I'll be back. To bury whatever's left of you and the people behind these walls. And I think you know it. <sighs> Shit. How often do they attack? Lately, every day. They do that every day? No, they don't. Come on. We're gonna need more ammo than this! Grab what you can find! Until then, use knives, fish, anything you got! Hunters! Hunts begins! They breached the lower wall! Help me clear them up! Flash! Anymore. Oscar, you gotta come with us, man. The people don't deserve this. Shock trap! Got an idea. Okay, done. Zap the ground by the door, and I let him in.
What are you waiting for, young ones? Give this generator a jolt. Shock trap. Young ones, I can't open this door unless you zap the generator.
Thanks, Jack. Let's go! Thought I'd say this, but thanks, God. this. <laughs> 
J.D., for coming here. Of course. Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you talking? Oscar's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her a minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Now we need to leave. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. What? Something's, something's happening to me. It's your grandmother's? Enough. We'll, we'll deal with this later. Foz, round these people up. I need help. There's a place up north. I think we can find you answers there. No, no. <clears throat> Absolutely not. We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, both of you, listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing, Jen will notice. Okay. I'll push Jack the coordinates. No, Corporal, you are coming back to Noafira. That is a direct order. Well, Captain, screw your order. This isn't about you, it's about me. I need to fix this. Watch her. Her necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yeah, so? She would never be our enemy by choice. I know that. Because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? Just us now. So what's in here anyway? A fast way out of this fucking place. Hey, if you want some time, you know, we don't have to leave right away. Yeah, we do. Okay, then we need some light. Where's the switch? New uncle, I'm a scout. So you can 
drop. More or less. Here we go. Mark has just pushed Jack the quarters for some facility up north. New Hope. New Hope? Sounds pleasant. All right. We should head out. It's a long ride from here. Hey, Dell. Hey, what? I'm glad you're here. Me too. Um, get around and find a way to open this thing. Look, JD kept a big secret from you. But how am I any different? You told us your secret. He didn't. Yeah. Right. New Hope? Nope. Marcus's coordinates are to the northeast. Doesn't look far. Just gotta unblock the skiff. You know what pisses me off most of all? Seeing JD pal around with Fox. Like, when did that happen? Jin's had him running missions together for months. What do you expect? Jack just found a map of the area. Okay, let's go. And now for the gate. Jack, do the honors. We're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Hey, let's make sure we store a couple of weapons on the skiff. You know, for emergencies. Attached. I'll take that. 
cover navigation. New Hope. Here we come. I keep wondering about something. JD and Settlement 2. You think Marcus knew? What he did, you mean? Yeah. I think he knew. You saw how he reacted. I did. And it... Well, explains a lot, actually. Kids, you read? Marcus, you back in New Ferry yet? Just landed. Are you close to New Hope? Almost. Question, how will we know when we're there? Officially, New Hope never existed. It was disguised as Jameson Shipping Depot. So look for tracks and follow. Tracks. Got it. Another gate. That's an old coxie. These feel like average security precautions to you? Uh, no. They do not. Huh. huh. Encrypted? To get through this, you need a security clearance I've never even heard of. All right, we're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. beyond that break. We're gonna have to park this thing. This is it? You're sure? I mean, yeah. Should be right in those woods. Hold up. That's an outsider camp. This far north? You think they're from Oscar's village? Maybe. Huh. I wonder where they went.
They were from Uncle's Village. Lena and Norsko. This journal says their new camp got wiped out, so they ran here. Then got attacked again. We should try to find them. Tell them about Uncle. Del, down here. Marcus, there's no facility here. It's all old growth forest. Trust me, it's there. So does Jen know about this place? Every first minister's known, and they all did the same thing. Posted guards and tried to keep it a secret. Secrets, huh? There's a lot of that going around these days. Let me know when you're getting close. Control out. Del, the storm's getting closer. Oh, great. Here we go, another cog seal. We're in the right place. Through here. Who could trust you now? Let's find a way out of here. Outsiders, cogs, swarm. We're the only ones who haven't been here. Got something up ahead! Let's check it out! Well, this is the place, but the entrance is blocked. Let's find a way around. This way! Inside now. Main building, I think. Roger that. We'll let you know when we find it. Del, got a way through here. Don't worry, it'll be fine. 
fine. Ish. Probably. Marcus, found your hallway and your circular door. Looks like somebody blew it up. Oh, right. That was me, actually. I forgot about that. So what now? Okay, look for another way in. The lab's filled with stasis tanks. That's how you'll know you found it. Stasis tank? Wait. What is that? We, uh, we might have a problem. Yeah, we definitely have a problem. Warden! doing here? The warden means the swarm's looking to turn this place into a hive. Oh, shit. Let's just find what we're looking for and get out of here. something. Help me lift it. Squeak through, buddy. You too. Okay, those are definitely not stasis decks. But what the hell are they? Not good. I can tell you that. Never seen gas like this before. Reject. Let's take it out. Quietly. Nice. Now keep doing that, please.
clear. But watch it. More gas leaks down here. Almost like someone wants to keep us out. No. Hallway through this gas. Get the other side. Shit. More those damn rejects. Well, let's take them low and slow. Tell, help me push this open. That didn't feel great. Jack, give us light. Hey, kid, how's it going? Perfect timing, Marcus. Well, no lab or stasis tanks, but we're in some kind of prison cell. and experimented on children? I warned you about what you learned there. You can ask him yourself. Wait, what? How is he still alive? He preserved himself as an AI construct. Find the lab, find Niles. See what you can do, Jack. Hey, Marcus. Did Cog know what this Niles guy was doing? They shut him down, eventually. Stuff like this is why I never trusted the COG. 
Not even when my wife was running it. Looks like Niles had a favorite test subject. Observation room. They were watching this kid. Exactly was he doing? Over my pay grade. But it had something to do with the locust. Which means it has something to do with you. Marcus, we found the lab. Good, but you're gonna want to avoid those tanks. Why? What's in them? The early and angry fruits of Niles' labor. They're called sires. Last time I saw them, they were a little... moody. Moody. Great. Just find Niles. He should be close. I'm beginning to think Niles wasn't a nice guy. Come on. I think I'm ready to meet this Niles creep. Got any idea what you're gonna ask this guy? You know, about your, uh, connection thing? I think I might ask about the whole imprisoned children thing first. Okay, fair enough. And then? And then, what does all this have to do with me?
Marcus, that didn't work. What? Did it is. Will we listen? Did you listen? Are you listening? That's Niles, all right. Still batshit after all these years. Jack, get over here and pull whatever files you can. <laughs> oh, hello, naughty fellow. Hey, is Jack gonna get some weird virus plugged into the sink? I don't know. Just hold him down when you're done. Ah, oh, shit. Most of the files are corrupt, but several of them mention something called Kadar. That mean anything to you? No. It does to me. I'll have Bear take a look. What was that? Oh, shit! Come on, Jack! The final cleansing. Has it begun? May I terminate? No! Get it! Come on! Someone once said to me, Nighty Night. what I said earlier. New hope? <laughs> Not pleasant. Agreed. I think I've seen enough of this place for today. Or tomorrow. Or ever. Let's get back to the skiff and see if we have a solid lead. Hey kids, you out of there? Yeah. Did Baird get anything out of that data? Plenty. Right before the last of the scientists left New Hope. 
Someone sent them a message from a lab in Mount Kadar, formerly known as Locust Central. Okay. I've done plenty of fighting in that place. This is the first I've heard of any lab. Well, that's good, right? For us? If you say so. Problem is, the message is boring. message back to the source, to whatever comm tower is a pass-through. Ha! Huh. There's always a reason we keep you around. Just head out and see if you can find any town. Start the trail back. Okay, will do. So, these comm towers, where do we find them? We'll need higher ground, but that gate's in the way. Wait a sec. Remember that security clearance I mentioned? The one I didn't know existed? Well, Jack spoofed the bypass code from Niles' computer. We can get past that gate. damn thing. Okay, Jack. Let's see if that code of yours works. There it goes! No, the old cock didn't get enough credit for its advances in big gate technology. Check up here. Shit! Kate! Sniper's up top! Alright, we clear them out! Why don't we deal with the gate?
Jack, shock trap! Okay, we got them all. Now let's deal with this gate situation. So, what do you think we're gonna find in the other side of this thing? Hopefully, truth. There we go, it's open. All right, both gates open. So back to the skiff? Unless you feel like walking to those comm towers. I'm gonna say no. Hard pass on that. One thing I keep asking myself, why did JD change so much? Was it the coma? The guilt? Jen made us seem like the bad guys and promoted him to captain, which, whatever. I just never imagined JD was so cock. Well, he is Anya Stroud's son, remember? And Marcus Phoenix's son. Yeah, can't imagine why that would give anyone issues. Come on, in we go. Think we got a clear path to that tower? Let's find out. And that wind flare? If we have to, we go through it, just like the last one. tower on a mountainside. We're on our way to it now. Roger that. How's the weather? What do you think? That bad, huh? Be careful. Control out.
here. More of them incoming! Now, come on! Cave ahead! Oh, shit! It's occupied! Not for long! Let's clear them out! Swarm doing up here in the mountains. You heard Marcus. Kadar was Locust HQ. Maybe they're drawn here somehow. All right, let's look around. Find a way out of here. <laughs> Del, up we go. now. Okay. What if this tower's a bust? I came here for answers. I'm not going home until I get some. Down we go. Keep moving! Our thermals won't keep us warm forever! <gasps> Del! We got a carrier! You see this storm? It's not a carrier I'm worried about! Wait! I take that back! I'm loving this storm! High ground on the left! Flank up! Shit. 
Help me open this goddamn thing. Thank you, watch you, watch you, watch you. The necklace. That's a locust symbol. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I saw. And if you have a choice, I'll serve this. Or that. She didn't choose many minutes. I get that. I get that. Then you know what to do. Right? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's me. Yeah, I... I just want to find that damn Kadar lab. Right. Well, we just got to access data from the command console. You ready? Figures. The console's not working. Huh. There is power in here. Could be a blown fuse or something. Just need to access the circuit panel. some kind of junction box up in the vents. Jack, get in there and restore the power. Good job, Jack. Let's get Jack connected to the console. Get in there, Jack. <laughs> Transmission data before it locks us out. So, do we scan for a transmission that matches the one we found at New Hope? Yep, that's it. Got a signal match. Northwest. It's another tower. So can we use that data to find the lab? Mm, not yet. We're gonna need that other tower to complete the trace. So what do you think? Should we update Marcus? I'll hail him from the skiff. Let's just get out of here. Security for a comm tower, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> You're asking me like I work here. I think we can get out this way. That's one tower down. Yep. It's time to find the other one. Sure you don't regret coming along? What? Are you kidding? I'm doing everything I love. 
skipping, freezing my ass off. So, I have a question. Foz, has he always been like that? Always. Gotta be the toughest. Gotta be the fastest. Gotta be the strongest. But not the smartest? <laughs> In that area? In that area alone? Foz has got a realistic view of himself. Guess we're sliding down. <laughs> Thinking about Niles. Those experiments. Hey, do you know what the average person would do if they found out the little we already know? Probably why every first minister has covered it up. Even I knew. She was literally the most honest person I've ever known. So what do we do? What do we tell? Maybe no one. What would be the point? The people behind all this are dead. So do what Anya did. Nothing. and grab that data. I wonder how far that lab's gonna be once we isolate its location. With our luck, it'll be on the very top of Ah, uh, that's an unfortunate and almost certainly accurate prediction. <gasps> Dell, substation. Wanna check it out? Yeah, you should. Look, by the door. There's a note. Those outsiders were attacked here, too. According to this, Norsko got potted, so Nina locked him inside. Damn. From bad to worse, huh? She says she headed to a radio tower southeast of here. We have to find her.
Anything about a Condor crash out here? Matter of fact, wind flares took out a few of them recently. Probably some useful shit on those things. Okay, got it. We'll take a look. All right. Rest of the wreck must be through here. Open drop pods. Listen, lay down your weapon. Why did it attack us? It's not corrupted. He must have lost connection to command. He doesn't see us as cop. Come on, Rex farther down. There, more DBs! Hey, at least they're not reaching! Look out! We got trackers too! this thing. Search this damn wreck. Jack, safe. Mm -hmm. Open. Idea what it is? Yeah, some kind of signal amplifier. Wait, Jack can use that. It's got a bipolar junction transistor. If only they all did, right? 
<laughs> See, you think you're being funny. But Jack Stem just got a serious boost. It'll make us strong, like really strong. <laughs> you know what I keep thinking about? That first day we walked into your room. I thought my mom was gonna kill you both. <laughs> you were the first person there to accept us. I always appreciated that. Well, I was starving from your faces. Hard to believe all that led us to this. And there's no one I'd rather be doing this with. I think it can't get any colder. No. After all this, a vacation would be nice. I would not get your hopes up. There's our other town. Looks like it's in relatively good shape, too. Then let's head to it. Question for you before we dig any deeper into this. Did Raina ever do anything suspicious? I mean, why does she even have that amulet? I've been thinking about that. There was a lot she didn't tell me. How she met my dad, why she never knew her own mother. All she'd say about her father was that he was bad. I know she grew up rough, but where she came from, that's a mystery. Obviously, she was hiding something. Why? Well, I hope we can find some answers. Yeah, me too. Shit. Get behind something. Swarm ahead. Okay. We got a bunch of swarm on thin ice. Time to go loud!
done. Way more of these things up here than I was expecting. At this point, I expect them to be everywhere. You're probably right. Let's just get to the tower. Give you a boost. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. Who could trust you now? Trust you now. Hey, what gives? Sorry, got distracted. Look what I found. All right. Let's see what we can find here. Jack, get the safe open. Jack, fetch. Expecting more DBs in here than this. Maybe it wasn't a full fight. That or they wandered off. I think we just found that Condor's payload. Clear him out. And we got a Bastion, too. Got him. 
Dell, you good? Well, I'm cold. Don't really know where we are. I'm generally kind of confused about what we're doing, but, uh, yeah, I'm good. All right, time to find out if we can go two for two on these towers. Man, I really hope he didn't come up here. Dell. Heads up, they're awake! Target's down! Alright, they're out of commission. How many goddamn DBs was that Condor carry? One problem at a time. last time. Okay, that's not ideal. We can worry about leaving after we get the data we need. Just gotta find a transmission that matches the other signals we found. Got another signal match. That's gotta be the lab. So we've got enough to find it. Gotta run a formal trace, but yeah. You wanna tell Marcus or should I? Let's just get back to the skiff. We can tell him on the move. Jack, pop this lock. What the hell's this? Someone's workshop? Got something here. A spectrum scrambler. Oh, I got an idea for Jack. Getting through this? Not gonna be possible. Jack's cloak can now make us invisible too. Alright, that's one problem behind us. And we got a new token. Come on then, 
Back to the skiff. Not so fast! Snipers ahead! If only we could turn ourselves invisible somehow! Way ahead of you! Close! Let's take him down! We got them all. Let's get down the hill and back to the skiff. All right, you ready to go find that lab? Yep, look, I gotta ask you something. Once you get yourself answers... Yeah? What then? I mean, what happens next? What are you actually asking? Look, I know you're not exactly thrilled to be in the cog. Hey, if you're worried, I'm gonna run off or something. No, 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 I'm not worried. Oh, no? Well, maybe you should worry. At least a little bit. Oh. Great. Gonna check up here. Shit! Kate! Snipers up top! All right, we clear them out! Why do we deal with the gate?
Okay, we got them all. Now let's deal with this gate situation. So, what do you think we're gonna find in the other side of this? Hopefully, truth. There we go, it's open. All right, both gates open. So back to the skiff? Unless you feel like walking to those comm towers. I'm gonna say no. Hard pass on that. One thing I keep asking myself, why did JD change so much? Was it the coma? The guilt? Jim made us seem like the bad guys and promoted him to captain, which, whatever. I just never imagined JD was so cock. Well, he is Anya Stroud's son, remember? And Marcus Phoenix's son. Yeah, can't imagine why that would give anyone issues. Come on, in we go. Think we got a clear path to that tower? Let's find out. And that wind flare? If we have to, we go through it, just like the last one. tower on a mountainside. We're on our way to it now. Roger that. How's the weather? What do you think? That bad, huh? Be careful. Control out. This way! 
Yeah, and if we don't keep moving, we're gonna die up here. More of them incoming. Swarm doing up here in the mountains. You heard Marcus. Kadar was Locust HQ. Maybe they're drawn here somehow. All right, let's look around. Find a way out of here. <laughs> Dell, up we go. now. Hey, what if this tower's a bust? I came here for answers. I'm not going home until I get some. Down we go. Keep moving! Our thermals won't keep us warm forever! Del! We got a carrier! You see this storm? It's not a carrier I'm worried about! Wait! I take that back! I'm loving this storm! High ground on the left! Flank up! Coming your way! 
hell? Help me open this goddamn thing. Watch, 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 watch. The necklace. That's a locust yes. circle. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. And if you have a choice, I'll serve that set. Well, then. She was ready. I get that. I get that. Then you know what to do. Right? Right? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's me. Yeah. I just want to find that damn Kadar lab. Right. Well, we just got to access data from the command console. You ready? Figures. Console's not working. Huh. There is power in here. Could be a blown fuse or something. Just need to access the circuit panel. Kind of junction box up in the fence. Jack, get in there and restore the power. Good job, Jack. Let's get Jack connected to the console. Get in there, Jack. Transmission data before it locks us out. So, we scan for a transmission that matches the one we found at New Hope? Yep, that's it. Got a signal match. Northwest. It's another tower. So can we use that data to find the lab? Not yet. We're gonna need that other tower to complete the trace. So what do you think? Should we update Marcus? I'll hail him from the skiff. Let's just get out of here. of security for a comm tower, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> You're asking me like I work here. I think we can get out this way. That's one tower down. Yep. It's time to find the other one. Sure you don't regret coming along? What? Are you kidding? I'm doing everything I love. 
skiffing, freezing my ass off. So, I have a question. Foz, has he always been like that? Always. Gotta be the toughest. Gotta be the best. Gotta be the strongest. But not the smartest? <laughs> In that area? In that area alone? Foz has got a realistic view of himself. Guess we're sliding down. <laughs> Thinking about Niles. Those experiments. And hey, do you know what the average person would do if they found out the little we already know? Probably why every first minister has covered it up. Even I knew. She was literally the most honest person I've ever known. So what do we do? What do we tell? Maybe no one. What would be the point? The people behind all this are dead. So do what Anya did. Nothing. grab that data. I wonder how far that lab's gonna be once we isolate its location. With our luck, it'll be on the very top of Malkadar. Ah, uh, that's an unfortunate and almost certainly accurate prediction. <laughs> Dell, substation. Wanna check it out? Yeah, you should. Look, by the door. There's a note. Those outsiders were attacked here, too. According to this, Norsko got potted, so Lena locked him inside. Damn. From bad to worse, huh? She says she headed to a radio tower southeast of here. We have to find her.
breaking the ice. Something's in there. Marcus, you know anything about a condor crash out here? Matter of fact, wind flares took out a few of them recently. Probably some useful shit on those things. Okay, got it. We'll take a look. All right. The rest of the wreck must be through here. Open drop pods. doesn't see us as cop. Come on, Rex farther down. There, more DBs! Hey, at least they're not rejects! Look out! We got trackers, too! this thing. Search this damn wreck. Jack, safe. Mm -hmm. Open. Idea what it is? Yeah, some kind of signal amplifier. Wait, Jack can use that. It's got a bipolar junction transistor. If only they all did, right? 
<laughs> See, you think you're being funny. But Jack Stem just got a serious boost. It'll make us strong, like really strong. <laughs> you know what I keep thinking about? That first day we walked into your room. I thought my mom was gonna kill you both. <laughs> you were the first person there to accept us. I always appreciated that. Well, I was starving for your faces. Hard to believe all that led us to this. And there's no one I'd rather be doing this with. I think it can't get any colder. No. After all this, a vacation would be nice. I would not get your hopes up. There's our other town. Looks like it's in relatively good shape, too. Then let's head to it. Question for you before we dig any deeper into this. Did Raina ever do anything suspicious? I mean, why does she even have that amulet? I've been thinking about that. There was a lot she didn't tell me. How she met my dad, why she never knew her own mother. All she'd say about her father was that he was bad. I know she grew up rough, but where she came from, that's a mystery. Obviously, she was hiding something. But what? And why? Well, I hope we can find you some answers. Yeah, me too. Shit. Get behind something. Swarm ahead. Okay. We got a bunch of swarm on thin ice. Time to go loud!
these things up here than I was expecting. At this point, I expect them to be everywhere. You're probably right. Let's just get to the tower. Come on, I'll give you a boost. Look what I found. All right, let's see what we can find here. Jack, get the safe open. Jack, fetch. I don't know some decent stuff here. Come on, let's head for the comp tower. Expecting more deep in here than this. Maybe it wasn't a full fight. That or they wandered off. I think we just found that condor's payload. Clear him out. And we got a bastion too. to that tower.
down here. <clears throat> Kind of confused about what we're doing, but uh, yeah, I'm good. All right, time to find out if we can go two for two on these towers. Man, I really hope we didn't come up here. Del, heads up, they're awake. Targets down. They're out of commission. How many goddamn DBs was that Condor carry? One problem at a time. That's not ideal. We can worry about leaving after we get the data we need. Just gotta find a transmission that matches the other signals we found. Got another signal match. That's got to be the lab. So we've got enough to find it. Got to run a formal trace, but yeah. You want to tell Marcus or should I? Let's just get back to the skiff. We can tell him on the move. Jack, pop this lock. <laughs> what the hell's this? Someone's workshop? Got something here. A spectrum scrambler. Oh, I got an idea for Jack. Mm. 
Getting through this? Not gonna be possible. Check it. Jack's cloak can now make us invisible too. problem behind us. And we gotta do something. Come on then. Back to the skiff. <sighs> Not so fast! Snipers ahead! If only we could turn ourselves invisible somehow! Way ahead of you! Close! Let's take them down! Got them all. Let's get down the hill and back to the skiff. Uh, all right, you ready to go find that lab? Yep, look, I gotta ask you something. Once you get yourself answers. Yeah? What then? I mean, what happens next? What are you actually asking? Look, I know you're not exactly thrilled to be in the cog. Hey, if you're worried, I'm gonna run off or something. No, 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 I'm, I'm not worried. Oh, no? Well, maybe you should worry. At least a little bit. Oh. Great. When we get to the skiff, let's tell Marcus what we're doing. Okay, but I've got another question. If you did leave, where would you go? Hmm, pre or post-swarm outbreak? Hmm, pre. Some place with a beach. And post? A bunker, five miles underground. Okay, you got room for two? Aren't you forgetting Jack? Yeah, but he doesn't take up much space. What about you? Where would you go? You know what? I have no idea. But I tell you, it'd be no snow. There's nothing here. Yeah, I don't get it. Look, the data checks out. We're in the right place. Maybe Jack can, I don't know, use Pulse to ping the signal. Worth a try. Jack, Pulse! Whoa, there's something under the ice. 
Nice work, buddy. That's gotta be what we're looking for. But how do we get down there? Not easily. Ice this thick, it's like concrete. Not sure if this helps, but Baird says there was an old mine in that area. Old mine? Blasting caps. Explosives. I'll push the coordinates to Jack. Thanks, Marcus. All right. I guess we got a potential solution. Old mine it is. navigation. You know when Marcus said we were heading up north? This isn't exactly what I had in mind. Man, I thought it was cold down by Oscar's village. This is ridiculous. What about your Irish thermals? They're still working, right? Yeah, but my armor doesn't cover my face. My goddamn nose hair's frozen. Thanks for sharing. Let's see what's in here.
Cog invaded the Locust Hollow from these derricks, right? Slammed their grinders right through the ground. Uncle fought in Hollow Storm. So the ride down was the worst part. I believe it. Let's search this place. Think it'll have anything good? That's the dream. <laughs> Got a grind lift here. some weapons over here.
it's a part from something. Not sure what. Hey, that's old cooling tech. Hmm. I could try wiring it into Jack, but I'm not exactly sure how. I need another part too. All of which. What exactly? Well, it's cooldown tech, so you wire that into flash, you could maybe add a freeze effect. All right, grab anything else you need before we head back to the skiff. <laughs> so we're eventually gonna find this lab, right? Nothing wrong with the scenic route, at least when you're finding good stuff along the way. Check out that condo or what? Backwoods over there. Let's go find some explosives. Okay, the mine's back here somewhere, right? Let's hope it's got something we can use. Oh, sure. But that really depends on the type of mining they're engaged in. If they were doing hydraulic mining, we might find some high pressure water cutters. But, given the environment, I bet it was some kind of subsurface extractive mining operation. Okay, all right, I got it.
going down. There's the mine. Marcus, we're here. What do you know about this place? Let's see. Uh, it's an old nether cut mine. Industrial, rare metals. Company got nationalized by the COG right before E-Day. So no activity since the war? No COG activity. Can't speak beyond that. Okay, thanks. We'll be in touch. <laughs> What's up with all this clear cutting? For the mine, probably. Building material. Industrial logging's not really my area. Whoa, so there is something that's not your area. Hey, I enjoy knowing things. Is that a crime? Bridge to the mine is blocked. Derailed train. <laughs> There's gotta be another way across, right? Let's see. Let's try down here. Okay, looks promising. <laughs> I take it back! We have four! Let's take them out! They don't want us in that mine. Yeah, but we gotta get up there. Let's try that lift. <sighs> Jack, rip that door. <laughs> Here! 
That one is getting into that mine. Should be good to go. Nice work, Jack. Norsko, I bet they were from here. You could be right. That means... That means we're about to have a fight on our hands. If what Lena Norsko said is true, this place got wiped out. Keep your guard up. Sure looks like they fought them hard in here. Just no bodies. Yeah. Let's let's get this open. I thought we knew where all the outsiders were, but we missed a lot in the realm. Mm -hmm. How? Most outsiders don't want to be found, especially by the cog. Well, it's better we find them than the swarm. Mm -hmm. See if we can find any explosives. Okay. You ever think? 
think about what happens to people in pods? Too much less about you. Yeah. But maybe there's some part of it, or some spark, that's still human. There's nothing human left. Just keep looking around. Hand, please. That big drill ran off phosphorus fuel. Okay, so. So, when you expose phosphorus to oxygen or water, it ignites. And that could solve our ice problem. Then let's take what's left. some ice, shall we? We're not out of this yet! Jack, protect the fuel! Pico, we all go with it! Uh, excuse me?
Come on, Jack. Move it. All right, let's get this shit to the skiff and call Marcus. I'm telling you, this shit is gonna melt that ice. If you say so. through that train and get out of here. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna check this out. place was certainly a life experience. Feels like we're racking those up out here. I keep thinking about those poor people back in that mine. What you said in the tunnel. You're right. We should have found them. Yeah, but you were right too. You can't help people who don't want to be helped. Like JD, for instance. Ooh. Yeah. Like JD. You think he'll ever be himself again? I don't know. I hope so, but I don't know. Come on, up here. Skiff's back this way. <laughs> Jack, you good hauling that phosphorus? Glad to hear it. See? It's growing on you, isn't it? Jack's good people. Oh, you just filled his small mechanical heart with joy. Thanks for being here, by the way. If you weren't with me, this would be... It would be hard. Wait, are you thanking me or, or Jack? Jack? I'm sorry, wasn't that clear? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Marcus, we found phosphorus fuel. Dell thinks it'll get us through the ice. No, Dell knows it'll get us through the ice. 
phosphorus. Be careful. It's nasty stuff. Yeah, that's the rumor. Delta out. You know, that ice isn't going anywhere. We could scout around some more. I'll take that under advisement. Oh, man. Now you sound like Marcus. No, this sounds like Marcus. I'll take that under advisement. <laughs> See? Subtle difference. Yeah, very subtle. My ass is getting numb. You want to check out that condor or what? be tricky. Then I guess we'll have to deal with that. Solid observation. All right, let's get this phosphorus cooking. Wait, oh, hold on. What? You said this stuff... It's called phosphorus. Fine, whatever. You said it feeds off oxygen and water. Yeah? Yeah, we're about to expose it to a ton of ice, which is... Oxygen and water. Yeah. Huh. It'll be fine. What are you basing that on? Thermodynamics. Reaction kinetics. Somebody want to let me know when this chemistry class is over? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Come on. Safety first. our radio tower means the lab's not far come on jack you good you, you know you don't have to be honest Del, 
Help me. You are nearly there, 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 child. Stop, stop, stop fighting. Something needs. <laughs> Generator here. Like that did the trick. Shit. We didn't get all of them. Gotta be another generator somewhere. Some answers? More than this. upset about a pinprick i have sensitive hands proper identification is required for entry your entry has been denied good day oh uh, what niles is that you proper identification is required for entry proper identification hey you can give it a shot but it's gonna hurt more than you think Welcome home. Do you really require an explanation? I think I like the gibberish spouting novels more than this cryptic garbage can. Ah, I see you've met my vastly inferior construct at New Hope. What the hell? It's freezing in here. Goodness. Apparently, some of our cryojets are malfunctioning. There must be a fault in our system. You don't say. Of course, we cannot proceed until those cryojets are disabled. Would you mind, terribly? Miserable little garbage can, mother- Cryojets are probably powered like the turrets. Let's find the generator.
Get back to that car. Well done. Yeah, Jack's a good one. I've been meaning to reset those cryojets for quite some time. Niles, really looking forward to you explaining this. Oh, nothing but the remains of an old industrial accident. No, this tanks. Same as the ones at New Hope. Yeah, I noticed. Ah, yes. My work there began as an effort to cure children ill with rust lung, but it grew into something far more significant. The cog wanted medicine. I gave them gods. Oh well, water under the bridge. This way. So after the cog shut you down, why come all the way out here? Our family needed a place to continue our work in solitude. <laughs> no way your family built this alone. I am quite certain you lack the necessary clearances for that information. This next area is quite fascinating. The path to every breakthrough is paved with failure. Here are some of our more unstable specimens. This breakthrough of yours, how did you manage it? One of the miners' children, as it happens. She was resistant to aging, disease. We raised her as our own. Interesting. What is it? That is one of our first successful hybrids. Hybrid? You mean a locust? One and the same. In our previous facility, we had problems with genetic stability. The sires were distempered and sterile, a problem for obvious reasons. But the locusts were different, highly controllable, the perfect soldiers, and blessedly able to reproduce. What made them different? Their cells. You see, the emulsion miners' children provided a marvelous genetic repository, as did the indigenous creatures of the Hollow. In all of your genetic research, it's in here? Of course. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, Jack, Jack, come here! I need you to download everything off this terminal. Oh, man. I don't think I want to know what any of these file names mean. But when the extent of one very special child's genetic immunity to emotion became clear, our work began to soar. Please, go ahead. That, of course, is Mira, 
or as you know her, Queen Mira. You bred her with the sires? Nothing so monstrous. Her stem cells, however, were delightfully complementary to sire DNA. But we underestimated so much. Young Mira's strong maternal feelings, for instance. Let me guess. She led her children to slaughter you all. No, no, no. Well, yes. But I meant her more traditional maternal feelings. For her daughter. Little Raina. Your mother. What? You're lying. I am not. Your mother was born here, and taken from us by her spineless father, thus causing young Mira's unfortunate rebellion. Why are you telling me this? You have so many gifts, you do not yet understand. Hey, what's going on? He will kill you if he knows. They all will. What did you just say? Hey, hey, what are you... Why did you come here with me? What did J.D. tell you? Kate, I am not gonna hurt you. No? Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Hey. That would indeed sever the link between you and the Locust. Now, shut up! I won't let them do to me what they did to my mother. Your mother? And what did they do to your mother? In the hive. They changed her. It killed her. I killed her. But that is the process that allows them to learn, to grow. Without a queen, they remain unguided. See? See? I'm a weapon. No. You're not. Back in the village, when I was inside that snatcher, I was controlling them. What? I think I killed Oscar. Wait a minute. It... You think? Or you did? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Okay. And you're gonna stop it. And if I do not? Then we delete you and destroy every bit of your precious research. Then please, allow me to assist you. And we're supposed to just trust your good word here? You are free to trust or not trust whomever you like. But tell me something. Your mother and the Hive, did she resist? Of course she did. So I feared. Young Mira needed no such crude incorporation. Niles, tell me something. My grandfather. Who was he? One of my best geneticists. He fled with little Raina because he no longer believed in our work. Did Mira know where he took her? I told Mira Raina had perished in the escape attempt. I assumed that would end the matter. I greatly miscalculated. But it appears we have another malfunction. Perhaps you could address it? Right. But it appears we have another malfunction. 
Perhaps you could address it? Right. work turn on you. I choose to view it differently. The locusts longed for independence. Mira showed them the way. I have always been proud of your grandmother. I still am. This way, please. What the hell is that thing? The matriarch was generated from your grandmother's stem cells and sire DNA. She amplified Mira's ability to communicate with the Locust. This device is where Mira first learned to control her power, but we can also use it to sever your leg, if you choose. So how does it work? By mildly damaging your brain. What? By mildly damaging her brain? Her connection to the Locust is based on a genetic algorithm inside her temporal lobe. Altering that requires Anesthesia, you could say. It sounds like a lobotomy. A lobotomy is highly invasive. This is directed. While I work, the matriarch will guide your mind, undetected, to where it must go. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. no. You are not doing this. I do not trust this can. Then watch him. But I have to do this. I'm losing control. I won't hurt anyone else, understood? Understood. better. Okay. She is fine. 
patience. Hey, Kate, I'm here. I'm here. Life. What? I mean, it wasn't really her, except, except it was. Where is he? Emergency shutdown in effect. Come on, he went this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. After him! Get back here, Niles! God damn it! Surely you see I've done you a kindness. You are no longer vulnerable to the high mind and your mother has been awakened. Well, so to speak. Ugh, I'm gonna fucking kill you! I don't think you can hear us! I don't give a shit! Cryogenic lockdown commencing. Please exit the lab immediately. Shit! We gotta stop. Look for a way through. A way to lift this lockdown. We gotta get through this ice. I'm gonna make him pay. You're not gonna do anything but freeze if we don't lift this lockdown. Help 
me lift this. Kate, you want to tell me what the hell Niles is talking about? Later, after we deal with Niles. Locked. There's got to be a way to open it. Maybe there's something Jack can do. Jack, see where that leads. Kate, more locusts are coming! Then hold them off! Hey, Jack! Don't take your time on this! Check 
got the door open! Good, but we can't leave yet. I'm not letting these things live. All right, then let's finish them off. Let's get after Niles. <laughs> Time to go. inside its head. You don't want to know. Where the hell is Niles? My goodness. Someone seems to have awakened my sires from their long hibernation. I wonder who that could have been. Del, get ready! All of them. So then let's keep after Niles. Come on. Hey, Niles, we're still coming. I really don't think he can hear you. I really don't care. that thing's mind? I don't know... I don't know whose mind it was. But it was angry.
Lab's clear. Let's keep going. My sire's interest in self-preservation was always lacking. But I assure you, there will be no escaping a matriarch. something. Looks like he went this way. Kate, we still gotta catch him. Let's follow his trail. Let's follow his trail. We still got to catch him. Let's follow his trail. Let's follow his trail. Still gotta catch him. Let's follow his trail. Wait, Del! There he is! Damn it! be undone. This planet is now theirs. I told you I'd get you.
I got you. God, not again.
things better. But I made them worse. And you're sure what you saw is real? It was real. Okay, then maybe she'll, I don't know, I mean, help us somehow. She would, if she could. But she's not my mother anymore. Then who is she? Their queen. Come on, time to get out of here. got their queen. And Nas is right about what happens next. We need a new plan. No, we need the old plan. We need the Hammer of Dawn. Oh, thank God. Looks like you need a ride. How'd you find us? You think I'm gonna give you a one-of-a-kind piece of tech without the ability to track it to the center of the planet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. And speaking of one-of-a-kinds, help me hook up this skip. You find what you're looking for? Yeah. And now we need to kill it. Is she, you know, all right? Not really. But let me ask you something. How long would it take to get the Hammer of Dawn up and running? Funny you should ask. The data drive you found months ago about the UIR. Yeah? Interesting stuff. Interesting how? You'll see. And lucky for us, I have an old UIR contact. Take us home, Sam. Got it, sweet cheeks. Independent Republic secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still haven't. Vascar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, no, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. <laughs> so, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the cog publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, Summon our military tried to launch. It kind of triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly. Or stupid. 
or weak. Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Notice the part where no one's sure this will work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw on that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Baird. Good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. ago I sent Pat a package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. Override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So much swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie and the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly, they were wearing armor. 
they started making these. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Bear come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way up. I haven't heard from my people there in a while. Would be nothing, would be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. How do you know him? We were in a squad together, believe it or not. Also got court-martialed together. We kind of bonded. So, you trust him? Well, he threatens to never speak to me again every time I see him. But beyond that, yeah, I trust him with my life.
did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert pointers. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I've never seen weird formations like this before. It's sand. Sapped and superheated by a lightning flurry. Oh, yeah? How does that work? High shock pressure. It changes the sand's atomic structure. Bear, are we expecting anyone? No, we are not. Well, this can't be good. I don't believe this. I hope you're not here to stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened. What I've done. I don't blame you. So what does Jen think about you being here? Jen doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man. If you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? Okay, man. Before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like... Like we didn't even know you. Well, I haven't exactly been myself, though. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best in him. All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar to the east. And just a heads up, the nomads could use some help too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. No, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. I'm not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency's rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. Gotta be the rock. 
second hangar. So let's park this thing and find an old rocket. Paddock said there's plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp. Quite the welcoming party. Come on, let's get inside. Good night. Paddock, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. Inside, help me. So, where do we go? Place look huge from the outside. It's gotta have a mission control, or command center, or whatever the UIR called it. 
Eh, hey, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. He's close. I reckon there's even more bodies beneath all this sand. Way to keep it light, Files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. What's on the other side of that glass? Well, the lights work at least. And let's say we found the rocket hangar. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rocket. Paddock, Baird. The hangar's empty. It was moved. There's got to be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Okay, Jack. Let's pull some records. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Ooh, that's some nasty malware. Adaptive. Semi-sentient. Don't worry. Jack's got this. Right, buddy? Okay. Huh. No virus can stop Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Patty, I assume you can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Boss, you're bad, Gary. Did you have read those files? Nah. I was born in New Ephira. My parents wouldn't even speak Vascari with me growing up. Didn't want to seem indifferent. Okay. Not now. Well, let's bring that, uh, platformy thing this way. It's called a gantry. Is it then? Jack, bring it over. Finally, something I can do. Come on, you lot. All aboard. Okay, Foz, take us across. With pleasure. One thing, Chuba. I mentioned how the UIR attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. Yeah? I led that attack. You did? Why? To destroy the Kong. Yeah, well, makes sense. Uh, these days, I'm somewhat less interested in destroying the Kong. Good to know, Paddock. Okay, 
Let's go. Way to the satellites. Give me a hand. Well, no satellites here. Let's keep looking. Paddock, I'm curious. How long did your siege against this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Dishinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. You hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Okay. Swarm, but we're back on track. Also, Paddock, the cog that hammered you 50 years ago isn't us. We're not them. Well, if you launch those satellites, you'll be doomed to make the same mistakes. What is this knob even on about? with this before Paddock starts talking again. I heard that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. More of them. How are we handling this one? <laughs> okay, they're on to us. About bloody time. Oh! 
Yeah, come in. So, let's keep looking for those satellites. Jack, fetch! the hammer yourself, but now you're saying it's a mistake. What gives? You launch, you buy us some time, but eventually they'll win. You must know this. No, I don't. Doors welded shut. Then that's the door you want. Well, Jack could cut that door open.
Jack, rip that door. Here we go. All right, let's get set up. They're coming. Certainly. A handful. And another news. Jack got the door open. Good job. Just realized if my parents hadn't have left Vascar, my dad might have been here fighting off Paddock's men. Hmm. You, Vascari. What did your father do? He was a surgeon. <laughs> then he was lucky. We shot every doctor we captured. Uh, can we turn him off? Should be through here. Grab the other side. Gotcha. We found the nose cone. Oh man, but it's missing satellites. Wait. I see the others. Either side of the chamber. Let's get on that gantry. We'll load them up one at a time. Good idea. I'll drive. Get you. Bring the gantry in closer, Jack. Just like the last one. First. Make the call. Choices, choices. All right, off we go then. Uh, having a problem, pal? No, just figuring it out. So our friend Pat has got some uh, interesting thoughts on the Hammer of Dawn. <laughs> Uzi to judge. He tried to launch it himself. Okay. Let's get that thing loaded onto the nose cone. Let's try this. Loser, still up, and he keeps it like 
Is that not under moves? Stay clear of that rail, people. Bollocks is stuck. Maybe it just needs a nudge. Uh, okay, okay. Maybe it needs more of a shove. Gotta get over to the other platform. Okay, let's go. Brace yourselves, this might be a little rough. Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching these satellites? Oh shit! Swarm on the other platform! Sitting ducks down here! Boss, get us higher! On it! Oh shit! This is the opposite of higher? I'm aware of that! Got it! Got it! Just keep us moving! Doing my best! Shit! Zion! And we got a bastard too! We gotta get off this thing! Well, there's a higher platform to the left! Hang on!
Kate, you and Joe get off. I'll draw their fire from the gantry. Boss, they're clear. Take us away. Here we go. Okay, Dell, let's clear this platform. You got it. so we can connect the satellite. Okay, that'll work. Let's get this done. Come satellite number two. That's it. All satellites secure. Back onto the gantry. Let's get him to the hangar. Uh, not to burst any bubbles, but we're not getting anywhere till we open that big round door. Uh, well, there's a platform up there. Head over to it. You read my mind. All aboard! Okay, let's get up there. Okay, so Launching these satellites is a bad idea. He's right that the ham is dangerous. Believe me, get that now. Not launching these satellites is dangerous. Believe me, a world on fire is better than the world they want. 
We get this thing back to the hangar. We'll worry about the rest later. Let's try this. Guys, our pride's leaving. Damn it. Opening that door must have triggered some automated sequence. So we babysit it on foot then. And I was just getting the anchor driving it. Come on, up these stairs. We can't lose that nose cone. There. Let's keep up with it. Watch it. Below us. Way through over here. There it is. Let's keep up. Paddock, Baird. We're escorting the satellites back to the hangar now. Good. We're still decrypting these old files, but we're making progress. Head out to your skiff. We'll find your rockets soon enough. All right. We're on our way. We need some light. Once we're back in the hangar, we can work our way outside. Need some help.
Okay, satellites are safe and sound. If we want to get out of here, we should cross to the other side. down. Let's keep it moving, Delta. Looks like we're all clear. Okay. So you know, whether we get the hammer working or not, I'm glad we came. Yeah, but if we don't get the hammer working, whether you came or not, won't matter. Let's just find a way back. Over there! Incoming! <laughs> <laughs> Does every carrier burst apart like that? Yeah, pretty much. Our way out's above us. Let's get up there. Together would be so difficult. Hmm. Let's see. Scientists, rocket scientists, and anyone who's used the expression, it's not rocket science. What do you think? We just push a button mark to launch? Oh, I see. Yeah. Pick on the handsome one. Cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? Paddock, we're almost out of here. Any leads on that rocket? Yes. It's at a turntable in the east, beyond the Dune Sea. There's a rail bridge blocking the way, but don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, all this time I thought I was the handsome one. Oh, dear God.
still there? I got a question for you. No, I'm on lunch break. Oh. Or some still here. Okay, what exactly stopped you from launching the hammer? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice and spared a lot of lives. A Goroznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Goroznian proverbs justify war? Eh, most of them. All right, let's head out. Children, one more thing. The bridge controls weren't networked, so the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in decades. What are you saying? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. But that bridge, it's old and rusty and... Ugh. Just, when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. All right, you heard him. Let's head for the bridge. So, this Paddock, how does Baird even know him? Apparently, Paddock served in the COG for a while. That guy was COG. When? Unclear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about it, either. <laughs>
Huh. Our rocket train's facing the wrong direction. Which is why it's called a turn tip. Yeah. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now, how do we turn this thing? Started by finding a control. turned around. Another pair of hands here. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the control. Shit. 
Come on, we can catch up to it in the skiff. Here. Good news, children. 
I don't know how you did it, but my scouts have just informed me that your rocket train safely entered the hangar. Glad to hear it, Paddock. That's the end of my good news. You have another task. Go secure the hammer's targeting beacons. Targeting beacons? But for the Hammer of Dawn? Our system was based on targeting beacons. I was saving that info until we knew you could get the rocket. So where are these beacons? In the Southwest, Cosmonaut Training Facility. And to be clear, if we don't secure those beacons, we don't have a Hammer of Dawn. Okay, we're on it. Anyone else surprised by the size of that rocket? It's massive! Uh, rockets are big. You know the ballistic coefficient you need to accommodate atmospheric drag? Uh, no, I don't. Well, it's high. That's the size. So, what's it like to know so much about stuff no one else cares about? Go ahead and abide in your ignorance, man. Not my problem. Glad we agree. Cheers! Something up ahead. Looks like old Doc. Should we stop? facility for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple, when the COG also runs the newspapers. When historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. We can all agree on that one. Guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The cog happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cog? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could rope my missing into the discussion. Yeah, thanks for that. Here's our way in. All right, let's see what we got in here. Help me. Okay, Paddock, we're here. Listen, during our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Fakes in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby's security office.
There's our security terminal. Just need a way for Jack to access it. What if your bot sent out a pulse? Maybe that will show us the way to get in there. sent Jack through that vent. Jack, see if that vent will get you to the office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facility's activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. <laughs> There's gotta be the centrifuge. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red Condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a Condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. Trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah, well, put it that way. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. I haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock, Civil War, and the weather, it could crawl in anywhere.
Well, you called it. Look who's here. You got a sign on. And it's not a bastion. Come on, put these assholes down. <laughs> Shell spacesuits? How advanced was the UIR space program? <laughs> all right, so all the exits are blocked. Now what? Jack, activate that crate. Mm -hmm. Well, that didn't work. Then we try another one. This one holds. All right, Jack, let's do it again.
Jack, tell me the beacons are fine. Oh, thank God. Paddock, Baird, beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Ephira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll carry it to the skiff. <clears throat> well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. Time to get out of here. You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should probably clear out the rest of the swarm. He's lost enough people today. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not going to be much use in a firefight at the moment. Stay Jack, close to me, mate. Need some light in here. Okay, let's go. JD, you good? Yeah, just lead the way. Well, storm's no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. The door's welded shut! Jack, rip the door and hurry! Surprising no one! We got more swarms coming in! And we hold them off!
gift's not much farther. Yeah, easy for you to say. JD, how's the beacon? Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fate of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's dying down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. Del, when do you get the other side? Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? You're pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the call for compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. This ain't an engine my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen, though. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the COG border? Vasgari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. <laughs> OK, big fella, let's get you aboard. You drop. I'm down. So our pallets nomads up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Bear trusts Paddock, we trust Bear. It's all by the transitive property, we trust Paddock's nomads. The tr transitive, transitive what? Books, Faz. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. We're getting close to that water tower again. Something, but the swarm seem different, smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor too. Paddock warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. 
when we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to... To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. Anfield's just ahead. Work the skip as close as you can. I think it's kinda heavy. And so we meet again. Get that thing to Baird. Lead the way. Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot friend. It was boring, so I came out here. We should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Wait, if Bear's going back to New Ophira with the Beacon, how are we getting back? Well, if there's a Raven about, I can fly us home. Oh, no. Didn't you crash your basic training? Oh, I had a slight miss. Set that targeting Beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Ophira. Yeah, right. Of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead, install it. Tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird, cancel class and get out here! Swarm coming in! Short version, it stops bullets. Now get out there and use it! Delta, come on! Someone use that 
goddamn barrier! Take him!
Let's get in there and see what we can do. I'm taking this. Look! They're still fighting! We gotta help them! Haddock, mate. You hearing this? He says the beacons are safe. I'll send someone to pick them up now. And don't worry. They'll be well armed. So go. Deal with your rocket. All right. Delta out. All right. We're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Nomads will be worrying about. You know, I may have complained a bit. Or a lot. Or a lot, thank you, Del. But this has actually been a pretty ripping time, all in all. To sum it up, 8 out of 10. We'll do it again. And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you alone. Yeah, I'll take that, yeah.
Get the other side. Let's finish this. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Hope the satellites talk to ours? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. Oh boy. I'm beginning to understand why he never lost his rocket. And there we are, everyone's favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, see what happens. We could have hidden half a city in here. It's massive. Yeah. Don't envy whoever had to build it. Better work. Paddock, rockets assembling. Look out! There's a bloody snatcher in here! Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place! Nose cone before any more show up. Get 
Kate, you gotta get up to those satellites. Come on. Rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which means we need to find the control room. Yeah, initiate launch. Well, and then head back to base. Oh, bloody hell. No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work. Well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with a jack in her face in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy. supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. And there you go. One rocket successfully raised. Get the hell out of there, now! 
Il faut que So this is no affair. Home to industrialists, techno-fascists, reactionaries, and cowards. Yeah, also decent food, clean water, and showers. Eh, overrated. Delta, welcome home. Get cleaned up, then come to my workshop. I'll send someone for the beacons. Copy that, Baird. After you. Hey. Thank you, by the way. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Aww. Is the band back together, then? Should I take a picture for your scrapbooks? God, you're an asshole. Oh, stop falling in love with me. Honestly, it's embarrassing. So what's the deal? Are those satellites hooking up yet? Well, they're definitely buying each other drinks. All right, kids. Gather around. And now, observe. Sure, a nice demo, Baird, but uh, is it gonna work? Well, for that, we're gonna need a test fire. Forget test fires. We need an actual target. Uh, if we're selecting target, shouldn't someone with real military authority be here? It's Foz, right? <clears throat> yeah, yes, sir. Shut the fuck up, Foz. Yep, yeah, sir. The swarm have their queen. That means they've got a special hive somewhere. A nexus. Some place where they're vulnerable. Okay, so how do we find it? We don't. Because you might already know. How would I know? Look. I'm gonna level with you. While you were gone, Jin was raising holy hell about getting you hooked back up to the hive mind. I'm sorry, what? Don't worry, I talked her out of it. But I need you to think about what you saw in that vision. Every detail. Is there anything that helps us? No, I mean... I mean, I don't think so. We'll take it from here, Sergeant. 
Uh, excuse me, do you not knock? First Ministers don't need to knock. Really disagree. Jin, I told you, it's not gonna happen. And what about you? Well, considering the thing that linked me to the hive mind is dead, we killed it, by the way, you're welcome. And considering that I don't trust you at all, I'll have to decline. Arrest her. What? Jin, are you nuts? Ma'am? Iris, what's happening? Multiple security breaches. Older Fira ruins. External camera 16. External camera 15. Camera 10! God damn it! They're here. Then we're going out there. Yeah, okay, I get it. You can help us end this. <gasps> Lady, what the fuck do you think I've been doing? Delta, gather around. Tell me we got a plan. We do. This is a targeting beacon. Yeah, no shit. We're the ones who brought him back from Vasco. Give me a break, Lieutenant. I just work here. The point is, we gotta plant these things all over the old city. Just handed Cole and Foz theirs. So, where do we plant our beacon? East Barricade Academy. Once it's in place, they'll have a live hammer radius. And you can start hitting back. We clear? Clear. I'm not gonna lie, it's real ugly out there. Then we watch each other's backs, like always. This one. Shit. Dead end here. It's just through that building. Don't worry, Delta. I got typhoon assist before I run my play. Get up on that car, Delta.
Academy's close. Let's get through this mess. Baird! Echo Squad Catline! Our Raven's taking fire! Just set down as soon as you can and get your beacon in place. By the way, that goes for all squads. We got a lot of heat signatures incoming. Ah, all this responsibility is why I left the army. Just in time, Delta. God damn it! We got a swarm at. Yeah, plant the beacon. Let's use the hammer. Negative, negative. Delay that order. You gotta place it in the building across the yard. Are you shitting me? Why? We gotta maximize our coverage. That's why. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! All right, Barry. We'll get it done. Hey, Leva. Keep that thing busy while we get behind it. We'll go, Delta. I'll distract you. Paddock. 
Delta, Paddock needs backup at the tomb. We heard. We're on our way. Got it! Now what do we do? Paint your target with that laser. The satellites will do the rest. Let's take them out! Delta, we've got swarm coming in from the... Ah, shit. Reinforcement grub's coming in. the water we took down. Come <laughs> on. 
Let's get to Paddock. I'm taking this. See a way through. Ideas? Jack, shot that lift. Right. There, a way through. Come on. There's the tomb of... Holy shit. Delta, I can't take over the hammer network until all five beacons are planted. Paddock is the last one. We're on our way to him now. It's the beacon you gotta focus on. Everything else is secondary, and Paddock would agree. Understood. Come on, let's get in there. Come on, 
All right, they're down. Time to regroup. Coming. You heard him. Let's get set up. Ah, hunters! Watch their torpedoes! Ah, oh, shit! Guys, best opening up! We gotta close them!
They have been dominated. All right, we're done here. Paddock, you good? Eh, I've had worse days. Our beacon's caught in the Raven wreckage. Maybe your toaster can get it down. Jack, secure Echo's right. beacon. Thanks, Jack. Now to plant it. I got it! Mm hmm? I mean, it looks, right? Our plan was to place the beacon behind the tomb. So go do that, and I'll guard the front. Oh, and if I die, it... It wasn't terrible working with you. Likewise, Paddock. Let's go, Delta. Delta, could really use an update here. How close are you to planning that thing? We're almost there, Baird. Okay. We gotta put this thing exactly where Baird needs it. Oh! 
I'm sorry, man. No good. Here, help me lift this. All right. Okay. I think we got this. This is Delta! We are in distress! Mayday! 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 Ah! No! I can't breathe! Ah! Help! Help!
the rest of them. Look, Della, I need you to keep it together. It's not gonna help anyone if you get yourself killed. I'm fine, Kate. Okay? I'm fine.
God damn it, James. I'm so sorry. We're not done. <laughs> Someone call for a ride. Gears, I need everyone back at the wall. Our beacons are down and the swarm's pushing through. Baird, Delta's on the way. Drive. So anyone know the best way back to the hall? There's no best way. Just go, go! Then hang on back there and keep them off us!
Boss, we're in! Oh shit! Block! Go, go! Shots. 
So get on a turret and hold these bastards off! You heard him, Delta! Take out those blocks!
She'll be back. I know. But not if we find her first. <laughs>